guys, it's JD. OG. We're here to show you what to do with your keypad when it's not working. Sometimes you won't have a display. Sometimes the buttons won't do anything. And what you'll need to do is open it up and reset it. First thing you'll do, unlock the faceplate with the key. You'll take the, front, the top shroud off by pushing it forward and taking it out of the notches. The notches are located on either side and they fit in right here. You'll open the, the top, taking it out of the hinge. You'll, it'll be locked with the screw here. You'll just unscrew the screw. Usually only takes about a half turn. In the back side here, there's a small reset button. located right here. It's labeled with reset. What you'll do is you'll hold that button down for five seconds. Once you release that button, you'll return the keypad itself into the locked position, putting the screw in, and it only takes about a half turn to lock it. After that, go re-hinge, making sure that both hinges line up in here as to not damage it when you shut it. Before you shut it completely, you want to make sure any wire that's loose is tucked up in here, away from any connections or pinch points. You'll then lock it. After locking it, you'll put the two grooves into the grooves here. And then push it back. And it works again. Or you can use a valid code. And there you have a reset keypad. Enjoy folks!